Hello. Good morning. So welcome. Um, this is a uh, CNCF sponsored video. So the CNCF code of conduct applies. Um, welcome everyone. This is Tag of Durability um, uh, on the 18th. Uh, both Alolita and Richard, uh, Richie uh, were unavailable today. Something came up for both of them uh, in their day jobs. So this, this could actually be a short meeting. Um, we have an open floor um, that's gonna be for most of it. And I have a few minor updates. Um, I'll put a link to the doc in the chat. Uh, feel free to add your name uh, and anything you'd like to talk about. Hello, Boris. I think it's the first time I've seen you. Uh. Yes, sir. Sorry, I have to introduce myself. Um, yeah, um, I'm working for KKR and I'm head of observability. And actually, I'm working with open telemetry. So I just decided at some point that just uh, it would be good for myself to gain some additional knowledge or maybe share some information with you folks. That's why I'm here. So I'm just uh, curious what exactly you're going to discuss, what topics, what agenda. So if you can just give me some idea. Yes, I think Zoom doesn't have scroll back, but um, uh, in the chat, there's a link to the meeting notes uh, with all of that there. Okay, okay. So let me just do, <laughs> to be as observer here, at least for now, and see how it's going. And, okay, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, for those that just joined, uh, welcome. Uh, both Alalita and Richard had, um, I think, incidents at work, like uh, or meetings or something, come up in in parallel. So uh, there's an open, a fairly open table today. If anyone wants to talk about anything specific, feel free. Um, just on the agenda, um, I had a couple sort of administrative reminders coming up in uh, in May. Uh, we'll have uh, elections uh, for. Or, or nominations rather for chairs. Uh, the TAG, the Technical Advisory Group has three chairs uh, and we started almost two years ago, uh, back in um, uh, two years ago in April slash May. Uh, and uh, that's when Richie and I started. Uh, Alolita uh, uh, Sharma from AWS uh, 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 was voted in as chair uh, over the, in the late summer. Uh, so two seats will be open. We also have uh, an immediate open need for technical leads. Um, uh, these are people who are passionate and or want to drive some specific project or provide um, uh, some leadership uh, around topics of observability consistent with our charter. Uh, so, um, so that's that. Um, the past five meetings have been uploaded to YouTube. Uh, for the delay over the holidays. Um, and I'll put in a link uh, to some of the issues that are, you know, we've marked as help wanted. Uh, there's also another uh, uh, label there for good first issue, I believe. So there's all manner of ways that we've defined, you know, where we really, if people want to drive things and or make it their own, um, uh, that's there. Uh, so just jump on in. Um, uh, you could Chat, send a shout out in Slack as well for any questions. Um, there's a bunch of people there that I'm sure would be happy to uh, answer them. Uh, welcome to the new people that just joined. Um, Gibbs, Shar, and Lucas. Happy New Year. I haven't seen you since last year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, we were just saying there's a fairly open agenda. I think this might be the first meeting where we've got more than a few folks. Um, uh, since the holidays. 
uh, not to not to put you on the spot. Hey, Gibbs, did you have a any update on persona type stuff, or could we queue that up for um, a, a future meeting? Yeah, definitely. Um, don't have an update right now, but um, let's get that on the agenda for next next meeting. Cool. I'll reach out. Um, yeah, uh, so the only real other update I had other than what I what I had just mentioned uh, is on the observe K8 side. Um, we kind of had a few of us have been doing some work uh, over the holidays and in December uh, slash November. Uh, and we've got the beginnings of, of what, what I think what a, ch a charter and a working document around what the project is. And we'll be kind of formalizing the working group with the TOC uh, via email a little bit later today to kind of throw it out there. Um, the PR isn't obviously merged. And if anyone wants to, to jump in or has additional um, thoughts, ideas, uh, or wants to contribute, um, please reach out. Feel free. We'll, we'll add you uh, to the repo. We're just now kind of formally launching um, uh, uh, Ken Finnegan uh, and um, and Michael uh, Hasebloss uh, have been uh, contributing as well as Daniel Khan uh, with some with some feedback. Uh, I think we've more than met the bar for at least we've actually done a little bit too much probably um, or more than we needed to do rather prior to being able to formalize the working group um, and launch it. Uh, but it's really sort of a Q1, Q2 time box thing. And I encourage folks to check out the link in the document. Um, and if there are any questions, uh, reach out via Slack or otherwise. And with that, that's, again, all I had <laughs> for today. Um, so uh, I'm just looking on your agenda. I'm just curious uh, exactly what topic you're going guys to discuss today. Or is something related to Kubernetes or what exactly you're looking for to discuss in details today? Oh, well, so again, uh, today, I think uh, we, we unexpectedly had both of our other chairs um, uh, pulled away uh, for something urgent. So uh, I actually don't have a, a full uh, agenda planned for today. Um, uh, so this might be a very quick meeting. Um, I, I guess one, Matt, one thing to bring up around the Observe K8s is just to see if there was anyone else from this group that was potentially interested in uh, being a chair for that, because Michael and I kind of put our hands up just because um, <laughs> I think there was only three yeah. of us in that meeting do, at the time. Do you want to give a brief overview or a cover, cover sort of, I don't want to monopolize the time and, and, and things like that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I would love it if you, if you want to say a few words about uh, what it is. Um, Sure, I can uh, try and do my best to remember <laughs> from last time we spoke. Um, so the idea behind Observe K8s is to uh, give users the ability to explore the observability landscape, the tools, the frameworks, whatever it might be, focused on the CNCF side of things, but also willing to accept uh, and include additions from outside the CNCF that might end up being projects that we want to seek to include in the CNCF in the future and all that kind of thing. The, the goal is to have a system where users can play around with a tool and dive into the observably in the different aspects to get a feel for if I make this HTTP request over here, what does that look like in metrics, logs, traces, how do they all link together and what tools are used to do all that linkage and what kind of level of detail I can get to into and all that kind of thing. So we want to have a few different example applications. Uh, we've talked about um, what is it, sock shop, and um, I know there's a couple of others that I can't remember. Uh, we have a list of them in that document. Potential examples that we want to take and basically get observability working with them to provide this system. Uh, it will be something that we require some level of infrastructure to run so that it can actually be running all the time for people to play with. Um, yeah, so it, it's kind of like a multi chance for us to play with all these different tools and the new cool things that might be coming out and get them working with an existing system while also providing a way for other users to learn more about observability through these example applications and uh, basically take 
uh, one step at a time, kind of each piece of the white paper that's been put together to take an area and explain, explain it, expand it out, create examples for it. And so it's not just a huge lengthy thing of text to uh, this is how you do observability, give it more of a usable thing. I think I didn't butcher that too badly, Matt, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what I recall. Not at all. And I, I think we could, uh, th there's the scope of it is such that we could absolutely use, uh, you know, front end, back end, all the ends uh, help, uh, you know, um, both from the UX and the design of the actual user facing site, uh, as well as sort of uh, working on more of the plumbing side, which is probably where I'll end up pitching in more. Um, uh, as as uh, Ken said, you know, we want this to be all clonable and sort of a working example that you can quickly and easily replicate yourself. And then lastly, the working group really is, is a time boxed um, construct for Q1 and Q2 of this year. Uh, and in a manner similar to how the GitOps working group uh, out of the technical advisory group or TAG on app deployment um, launched open GitOps as a as something that lives on but under its own under its own steam um here too i think the, the goal is to launch observe k8.io uh and, and and all of the github presence with the link-ins and the tie-ins and the support of the cncf so there's a, a bunch of logistical stuff that um will be hitting the project boards there like transferring uh, the domains uh and the github organizations and dealing with the trademarks and just transferring all of this so that it's a CNCF hosted um, or supported entity, but that has open governance really. So, so really this working group is really about launching that. Yeah. And, and as I mentioned, like uh, Michael and I kind of like, I guess you could say self -nom nominated, but neither of us are wedded to it. So if there are others that have a really keen desire to lead this working group, uh, at least for the first couple of quarters, uh, there's always the op opportunity to renew the working group at a later time if it was successful and there's more work to be done. Uh, so if there's others that would like to be chair, please shout and one or both yeah. of us are happy to step aside if so. Yeah, uh, so working groups, uh, uh, you know, the CNCF is quite prescriptive about them, about their structure, but ideally there's uh, minimally two, there's two chairs uh, and then the working groups can define whatever other titles as needed or just do good stuff, but it's meant to be an asynchronous, you know, um, work stream. Uh, okay, so you just sent a couple of documents. So yeah, I would greatly appreciate if you give me time to review this. Of as course. I understand, yeah, and um, maybe after this I can come back. Because um, technically I would uh, uh, raise some questions from practical approach, I mean, so. So how we understand this and what we probably would like to see from a observability perspective. But first I have to see if these topics already have been discussed and maybe it doesn't make a sense to raise a second time. Yeah, this is really just, uh, you know, we, we've kind of done some of the homework to define what it is we'd like to do, uh, but, you know, it's just launching it really over the next six months is really when, you know, there will be all that sort of time. Um, uh, and all feedback is welcome. Uh, if, if you have specific comments, uh, add them. You know, uh, again, this is all very new. I think this is PR number two. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so of the of the of the repo, and it's, it's really quite honestly, we just sort of. You say that my, my, my concern well. is, so people start to position observability, and you know, many articles such as like three major pillow, and after they just hammer this is infrastructure, this is application, this is trace logs, um, monitoring one, two, three, and nothing else. So technically, you limit observability and their um, position. So observability just provide information about infrastructure or. In some case, Kubernetes <clears throat> uh, log, money, log collection and uh, tracing one to three. But um, um, actually, what we just find out um, from technical perspective for people who maintain or develop some stuff, it's more than important. But we have business people who would like to have similar 
uh, uh, to, to, to monitor, to, to, to get data or observability on the level of business, such as, for example, they have the problem, problem have been identified, problem have been uh, triggered, and they have to see when people acknowledge this problem, they would like to see when problem has been resolved and later they would like to analyze this improvement or disimprovement. So th they call this also observability. Yeah, I, I, I'd recommend you uh, give the document uh, a read. So uh, let me read. You mentioned around, around the, the language. Um, I think we have an issue for it. I'm trying to pull it up now. If not, I'll create one. But there is a, um, there's a working group on business business values or something like that. Uh, and they have a, they've launched a glossary, a CNCF glossary, with sort of the, the specific okay. goal of um, uh, providing uh, terms and, and definitions for, for you know, thing, things across all of the scope of the CNCF, uh, but, but really targeted at business folks versus uh, strictly technical or engineering folks. And so I think that is an activity where um, we and everybody else uh, could absolutely contribute, um, you know, observability related uh, definitions and, and things like that to, to address that. Um, I believe it's one of the, um, I'll, I'll, I'll put the issue in the, uh, oh, here it is, uh, number 38. Uh, I'll put it in chat as well as in the doc, but if you are interested in that uh, specific uh, topic, um, <clears throat> there's an example of where, where uh, you could absolutely jump in um, okay. If you if you wish, <laughs> it's one of them. Let's put it mm -hmm. this way. And uh, just and second, uh, I just didn't have a chance to review. Uh, did you do any uh, review of existing on market products to see how well they uh, suited, uh, if I can say, uh, work for your goal? So, for example, you have a bunch of them. Start with Samsung like old school BMC or Orion and uh, go up to Prometheus open source. And between you have a new relic and uh, you have Datadog, et cetera. So, so what's your score for every product? Um, so um, again, um, I would encourage you to, to have, have, have a read. What's in scope is the CNCF suite of open source okay. uh, durability tools um, uh, and other open source things. Uh, but not really uh, commercial offerings. So, so the um, and this for for other folks that it might be their first time here as well. Uh, the technical advisory group on observability uh, exists to to both identify you know opportunities and gaps in the ecosystem generally of open source tooling, as well as um, uh, uh, for CNCF uh, specific uh, projects and and, and technologies. Uh, and so it's there to advise the greater community and, and be a place where end users, such as yourself, um, vendors, as well as project contributors can all kind of come together in a, in a community forum to discuss uh, topics of the day, raise issues. Um, uh, I had hoped to have uh, somebody presenting um, uh, today, but they were unavailable. Uh, so uh, we'll have is an EBPF based thing. Uh, so, you know, uh, there, there's, there's, all of that stuff is in scope and uh, feel free to have uh, a look at the charter as well. There's a, there's a long list of stuff that's all open, but uh, one of the things uh, we don't do uh, is render, you know, formal opinions. You know, we're not an arbiter or a decider. Uh, we're not going to say like, these are the things to use. This is really just more of an open community call. Okay. Got it. For sure. And, and thank you for joining. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Do you know if the EBPF uh, will be available next meeting? Um, and is that Cilium Hubble based or what? what well, uh, I was, uh, so, so it was really, uh, I had uh, I had just read about uh, Solo had just open source Bumblebee, which is sort yep. of a kit to build EBPF things. Um, uh, I haven't, just to be fully transparent, I, I had just reached out uh, uh, fairly recently uh, uh, to those folks to, with an invite to say, hey, you know, you've done a new open source thing, um, uh, perhaps new to me at least. Uh, uh, and and so, if there are things like that, um, if if other folks uh, know of projects, either again, in, as, that are CNCF related or just open source, uh, Cilium and, and Hubble would be another example. Uh, I don't have any personal connections there, 
or professional connections, but if someone does, they're, they're welcome to come do uh, a, a show and tell or talk about where the project is going in the future or, or, or whatever. Uh, so. Yeah, we have a, uh, uh, um, please don't take this as a sales pitch. It's not meant to be, but Wipro had developed an observability solution a few years ago that we've consistently been building on. It's all open source based, um, which is why this is of interest to me. And we incorporate, you know, some of the, the CNCF tooling um, and that oh. observability. Um, but we're also looking at, uh, uh, at Cilium Hubble and uh, Leaf uh, by Microsoft and some of the other groups that are out there. And um, there's a, actually a, a different Leaf group in the open source that's, that's having meetings and discussing observability and a number of other topics. Um, but <clears throat> that's, uh, that's that's definitely of interest to me to, because we saw Bumblebee. We were going to look at that a little bit more as well. So. Uh, that can circle around. I'd be very interested to see that in this context. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Um, I, I, if you want to drop a link into the into the meeting notes uh, or send them in Slack or, or even wherever uh, to that open source. Um, project, it's built on project. it's building it's built on open source. We have an open source it yet. So that's oh, I see. The, uh, sure. Uh, well, again, um, you know. Uh, End user stories, if you will, uh, or, or stories and or um, uh, learnings, you know, things like that uh, around using open, using CNCF uh, based uh, observability stuff is absolutely up the center line of, of the kind of thing that you could just uh, come, come here. The general format is, you know, between 10 and 15 minutes, um, you know, a couple of slides, if you like, or a demo uh, and, and some Q&A. Uh, so, feel free to um, put yourself on the agenda if, if you'd like to talk about your experience with using open source tooling uh, to solve your business challenges or, or technical challenges or both. Yeah, and we'll, I'll definitely uh, definitely be looking to do that as time passes or as a lot of people in our strategy kind of moments at the, right now. So when that, when that part's over, we'll circle back on it. Sure. And there's some examples of this on our YouTube channel as well from the past. And I can, if you want to reach out, I can send you some some direct links uh, to what sort of those have looked like. They're, they're quite informal. Um, sure. Yep, we can do that offline for sure. Certainly. Well, again, um, we, we can return some time to folks if there are no other uh, things to discuss. Uh, the, the agenda was a little empty today, unexpectedly. Um, okay. Thank you. Um, I, yeah. I've got a quick question. Um, so I work mostly in the Open Telemetry Project, and one of the things that I'm trying to do is connect end users together. I know that like CNCF has an end user community at the CNCF level. Um, I wonder how much the kind of like observe K8s and this demo stuff intersects potentially with that, but my focus is really on open telemetry, the technology, um, primarily connecting end users who choose that standard. Um, but I don't know if anyone had any ideas in this group of just like, should I be working to coordinate with you? Does it fit in with the observe K8s effort? Like, yeah, I just thought, I'd raise yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely does. You know, uh, Otel okay. is an incubating project, um, right? And, and and in fact, I think in, in the doc, we had, or at least as we talked about that, you know, using Otel Collector and other open telemetry client libraries and things like that is, is absolutely the sort of uh, thing we'd like to do. Um, uh, I can dredge up a link, but if, if as, a, as an analogy, if you, if you look at the um, open GitOps, uh, organization that the GitOps working group launched, they have like repos cloned that are like, you know, here's an example of Flux, Argo, you know, bum, 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 all the way down, uh, all the different ways that you can build uh, build and, and release to production and manage, um, you know, a generic app. And, and or maybe I'm thinking of Pod Tato Head, 
um, it might not be under the exact open get offs working group, but um, pot potato head, which we have linked in there is a cute little app, but they kind of, it's not opinionated it's saying, you know, here is how to do it with this project. It's like, here are all the projects, you know, that, you know, that, that, that folks might be using that, that seem to make sense and, and anyone can add a PR, but it's the same thing deployed a bunch of different ways with working examples that you can interact with. Uh, and so I think, uh, between that and, and a big aspect of the Observe k its idea was to, to have a curated compendium, <laughs> a case study compendium, you know, of, of people's experiences, or here's how we did it, or, you know, here's what we learned, you know, with discussion boards, and really, uh, because this is, you know, going to be under the umbrella of the CNCF, um, uh, some of the machinery around the CNCF community sites uh, can be brought to bear here. For some of the logistical support around you know the live streams and if people want to do things like that um and then lastly i'll say if you check out our issues and again i'll put them in the notes after it's sometimes hard to talk and type at the same time uh for me uh but in any event um uh you know having folks that want to uh contribute either to the tag or to, to observe k8s um you know we have a youtube uh, channel uh, but we don't really have uh folks right now that are that are managing it that's another area where active contributions are heartily solicited and welcome to to either do interviews or you know dotan uh, can probably <laughs> comment about just some of the some of the things it takes to manage something like that uh in terms of programming and whatnot so um all of those are opportunities as well to help build community uh and to connect end users you know, with the projects uh, and, and the vendors that, that support them. So we should definitely chat. Okay, great. Thanks for a couple of those leads. I'll uh, I'll check out GitOps. I did see the potato head thing just like super briefly in that uh, Observe K8s list. I'm, I'm curious about that because that, that seems to be one of the biggest challenges for end users that I encounter is they're like, I know, there's just so many choices out there. And then also what, what is idiomatic to the language implementation of this example versus the underlying technology such as uh, open telemetry differences in stuff. Um, and so I think I'm very excited to see some of these more user-centric efforts take off because I think it will help with adoption and usage overall. Exactly. And then also, you know, not just to help with adoption, but to pipe that feedback back to yeah. both the TOC and the overall project community. I think having that that vector uh, feedback to help, you know, in, in, in a product setting, if we were all like if we were a project team, like we would very, very much want to say, like, what is our feedback cycle so that we can, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> Have a fast feedback cycle and just build build the right thing or address the right concerns and so really having having a way to, to pipe that back in a, in, a, in a in a reasonable way that's not like a blind survey or something like that is another place where uh, it's in scope in my view i had a question about the observe k8 is that intended primarily to be like a set of user guides on the different CNCF projects and how to use them with Kubernetes? Or is it creating new code and new software for observability around K8s or both? Uh, I would I would say the, the, the former. So, so most of the projects in, in the landscape, you know, landscape.cncf, the, the big eye, eye chart, um, uh, most of those are themselves Kubernetes workloads. Right. right. And so I think the intention of, of naming it observe-k8s um, was, you know, both it was available and not claimed, so we, <laughs> we nailed it. But uh, I think it's meant to be, I feel it's meant to be inclusive of, of all of that. So, you know, in gu guides, you know, and everything we've been talking about, but about the observation of Kubernetes itself uh, and its workloads, which are kind of <laughs> almost the same thing, you know, in, 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 or are the same thing, in, I would say. Okay, that makes sense. I, I wasn't really sure because I saw it, you know, I wasn't here over the holidays, so I didn't come to the meetings and I just saw them in the meeting notes. Yeah, it was skeleton crew time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but 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 for sure, yeah. Thanks for posting them to YouTube. I did watch them. Oh, yeah, and, and um, thank you for the feedback too, right? Um, 
you know, we're just kind of opening this up now to, to, to see what folks think. Uh, but. So um, I guess I'll, I'll give another minute if anybody else wants to, wants to do stuff, but I'm okay with awkward silence, but um, I'm sure we're all busy too. Uh, I'm just curious, next meeting is next Tuesday, right? Or are you doing twice per month? Um, you know what? I just realized that somehow, again, I think there might be an old version of something, but we meet on the first and the third Tuesday uh, of each month. Um, and, third, and I just realized that GitHub is out of date too. Um, but the CNCF calendar uh, is up to date. So if you get the invite from the CNCF calendar, that has it. Um, Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, so on third Tuesday. Okay, so let me do my homework and come back to you folks, okay? Thank you Great. very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.